right, we are back with some more cards to open up. Um, these ones up on top are the new 2023 um, Top Series one that just recently came out. Those will actually be probably for the next card open video. That's just kind of a sneak preview on what to come. Because this one, I just want to focus on these. <clears throat> Happen to get a couple of the Topps Chrome 2022 update series. Since I haven't opened any of those yet. <clears throat> Finally seen them and got them. And uh, they're good. I'm going to pick up some more because I still see some more uh, from Target. Um, and then I just happened to find one of these randomly too. So I thought... Let's open that up. It's the last one. Maybe something good come out of it. Probably not, but, you know. 20, 2022 update series overall just has been a good uh, set in general. So, see if we get anything good out of it. And then, uh, yeah. If these are good, like I said, I'll pick up some more. Do some more uh, in the future. Otherwise, this one definitely for sure will be... The uh, next one will be the 2023 top series one. That's for sure my next video. <clears throat> And then we'll see about uh, what I do after that. But anyway, stop blabbing. Let's get on to opening. Uh, first, we'll just start with the one little single pack of 16 that I just happened to see at the store. So, without further ado, let's get into opening. Now, I've never opened these packs like this randomly. I've always been in boxes, so I don't know if I'll be getting... Uh, any better odds like this? All right, here we go. So, MJ, MJ Melendez, rookie debut. Oh, the Sideways cards. So it doesn't look like anything big. Nick Lodolo, Ricky debut, debut. <laughs> Oh, we got a uh, Steven Strasburg Paragons of the postseason. Okay, I guess that's somewhat big, sort of. Not really. It's uh, I think the blue, the uh, retail exclusive blue. I think that's one of the first cards of these that I pulled, and happens to be a blue one. That's nice. Not a number, but you know, cool. I'll take that. So maybe there is some success in getting those packs. And you Darvish stars in LB. Okay, <clears throat> not bad. All right, on to the Topps Chrome update series. We will start with on the right, I guess. So I've heard a lot of bad reviews regarding these mainly just for the quality control which i guess apparently brings the value of these cards down a lot but that's okay maybe we'll get lucky and actually get good quality control if not not the end of the world for me good set and chrome version it's got pretty good overall in my opinion So you get 10 packs, four cards in each, for 40 total. Right, yep, okay. I'm excited. Let's see if we get anything good out of here. Oh, right off the bat. <clears throat> It's a rookie debut, so not as good as the base card, true rookie form. 
But, you know, Julio, Rod Julio Rodriguez. It's a good sign to come. I'm very happy. Royce Lewis, rookie debut, though. Okay, so they got all the purples in these. Just like the 2021 update series chrome that I opened up in the channel. Okay, cool. Not bad. Imagine getting a purple in the Julio. Any other kind of parallel would be nice. Mm, Jeremy Pena, <clears throat> rookie debut. So getting some nice cards out of this. Just need to get their true rookie form. I guess I'm noticing a little bit of like the off center. Like you can kind of tell in this one, maybe. And I could see in person how way off on the right here, it's a lot thicker than the left. See another Jose Miranda, so another rookie debut, these top rookies, or at least at least the top tier, and then maybe like some of the B second tier. Stephen Kwan, another rookie debut. All the rookie debuts in here. Well, that's okay. I still will probably get this these, these again. And you can kind of see how way off it is. They did a bad job. You know, but if we actually pull off something huge, then I'm overlook it. I think I still probably will get a lot of these. Generation now, Shane Boz. Brandon Marsh, rookie debut in the purple. Not bad. Rookie debut. They're always the rookie debuts for some reason. Got a Willie Star. Star Joe? Star Girl? And the die cut, which is weird. When they do the chrome version, maybe they can't cut it like they do in the uh, regular update series. Okay, Jeremy Pena. The base card, there we go. So you get a purple on every pack. That's how it was last year. Nothing too crazy pulled yet. If I remember from last year's, I didn't really get anything crazy out of that either.
Nick Lodolo, rookie debut in the purple. Okay, not bad. Down to the last pack already. There we go, Generation Now, Wanda Franco. <clears throat> so, nothing too crazy in there. to the second box. Let's see if we get some better look on this next one. <clears throat> what did I do? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Looking for my cutter. Here we go. Yeah, I'm excited <clears throat> to open up the 2023 Series one, but wait till next video. Usually, don't have extra product to do a preview of, but if I can, can I give you a sneak peek of what to come? There we go, Spencer Torkelson base card, true rookie card. Ooh, and a generation now, Julio Rodriguez. Okay, this is already starting to look better than the last one, I guess. Still nothing too crazy though. Cards look a little bit better so far. This box. Also have an idea to make a video of all the hits of all the cards that I've gotten on all these videos I've done so far. There you go, say yes, Suzuki, rookie debut of course. So that, yeah, that would, that would include all the autographs that I've gotten, all the low number parallel cards, the relic, at least the ones of value that I think. That's another video to stay tuned to look forward to. And there's an Omel Cruz in the purple, rookie debut. And of course, stay tuned. Ooh, there we go. Royce Lewis. Base card. Okay. Now, say, uh, stay tuned for. Of course, Jill has a lot more videos coming up, including one that she just posted today about the Super Bowl. Jose Miranda in the purple. True rookie card. Okay. Not terrible there. At least I'm starting to get some non-rookie debuts. Uh, 
So far I'm not really seeing anything too big out of these. No autographs, no little number card parallels. Really no parallels at all. Spencer Torkelson, rookie debut. Getting some Generation Now cards though. Number three. Ooh, a George Kirby rookie debut. At least the purples have been really generous. Getting some uh, a lot of rookies. Rookie debuts, but a lot of rookies nonetheless. There's a Bryson Stott rookie debut. I don't even know if I have that card in the regular unchrome version of it. <clears throat> or not. not sure. Two more to go. Another MJ Melendez rookie debut. And there's Bryson Stott base card, true rookie card. And a Rogers Hornsby die cut. So let's see, Super Bowl, that was on Sunday, just this past Sunday. That was a Shane Boz rookie debut. Um, so yeah, we haven't posted the Valentine's Day stuff that Jill did a lot of recording for. You guys are going to want to see that too. Really good stuff. We had a great Valentine's Day, <clears throat> Jill and I. Um... A lot of presents. Uh, went out to eat. Yeah, very fun day overall. I don't want to spoil everything. You'll see when it comes out. But very fun day we had. Lots of fun. Okay, uh, so that is it. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy out of these. So I don't know if I want to really get a lot of these. Maybe I have some better luck. I don't know. Quality control. Eh, I can kind of see some bad ones here. Yeah, not the greatest. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, not really the greatest on the cards pulled. A lot of rookie debuts. A lot of rookies. Just no really autographs, a little, little number of parallel cards. So let's see if I get more again. I probably will because they're such good cards I like to keep collecting. Maybe I'll get something good. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe I'll just focus more on the 2023 uh, Top Series 1 that's just came out. Because you can still get these. So. We'll see. That'll be it for next video, though. The 2023 Tops. And we'll see what we do going forward. But anyways, uh, enough blabbing. Uh, I'm going to get going. I will talk to y'all later. In the next video, might be a Jill video. I don't know. We'll see what she posts next. That might be a little bit for cards for now. Uh, yeah, if you like what you saw, give a thumbs like. Uh, subscribe, hit that bell down below. And we will see you all later. Bye. Later, y'all. Peace.